welcome to another video tutorial in this video i will show you how we can create this graph using canva so as here you can see these graphs are of high quality and can be directly used in research article or publication purpose so as here you can see the canva has large variety of graph and even including the race or running graph can also create these type of graphs using canva so without further ado let's go and access the website of canva and draw this type of graph so first you can open canva and make sure if you are new you can create login first so once you are logging to this website so as here you can see we can create custom size design for our figure and we need to choose width and height of our figure as most of the journal have their width size according to 8.5 and 11 inches as height so once you will click and choose this width and height 8.5 and 11 so you see it has suggested that this is the size of resume newsletter letter portrait magazine cover report and even worksheet so even new photologist and nature has also the similar uh, size for their figure so once uh, we will click on the create design so you see here our canvas is ready for the figures so once you have created this you can simply go to these elements so once you will click on these elements and you can see here we have different categories including shapes graphics stickers photos videos and here we have charts so once we will click on the chart so you can see here we have different category of charts and uh, first of all is the bar chart so let me begin with this first as bar chart so let me zoom in uh, a bit so that you can see it better and uh, you see here once we have selected this graph so it will give us three colors to select you can see the first color is this then we have this color then we have this color so if you want to change the first color so you can simply go and click on this first color and now if you want to change the color for time series 2 we can similarly do one by one for all so this was for color changing so now we can go and see how we can edit these values so once if you want to edit this value so you can simply click on this edit and as here you can see after clicking on this edit button our data tab is open and you can see here we have the different labels and if you want to edit this and let me zoom in so that we can see it better so if you want to change this label let's suppose we can change this treatments like this is salt this is yeah maybe the first one can be the control and the second one can be salt and this one can be drought and uh, this one can be cold so you see here even if you want to change this series so we can also change this and if you want to change these labels according to their different series names so we can also change them as well and uh, here you see here we have option to swap the rows and columns so if you want to switch these columns into rows are these rows into the column so we can simply click on this swap rows and columns so you see here uh, now we have swap the rows and columns and we can go back into the data and see you see here we have now control salt and droughts and uh, yeah here i did mistake in the cold yeah it should be cold yeah good to go and uh, if you want to clear this data and uh, i mean if you want to add your own data so you can simply clear this data by clicking on this clear data so you see here nothing to show and we can go by simply 
clicking on command z or control z and if you have your own data in the form of excel sheet so you can click on this add data and from here upload you can simply go to the your computer and select whatever file you want so uh, let me show you a little more control so for a better control on these legends and uh, titles name so we can go to this setting so as here you see once you will go to the setting option it will show you whether you want to show the axis label or not you see here the axis label is shown but we haven't entered our x title or y title so let's suppose this is the length of root let's suppose and uh, this is the treatment so you see here once we have entered this so you see here we have now treatments and the length of roots as well and if you want to show the legends i mean if you don't want to show you can simply turn it off so you see here once we will uncheck this these legends will disappear and if you don't want to grid line and if you don't want your grid line this line you want to disappear them so you can simply uncheck this and check back if you need again and uh, from here if you want to select this increment uh, on this x-axis so you can simply you see here it is now 100 from 0 to 100 and if you want to make it like 50 so it is like this so we can go back and uh, for this specific example maybe we can turn off the grid lines so you see here our first graph is almost ready so we can simply drag this and uh, paste it into the one part of this figure and we can go back and uh, take our next graph so you see here the next graph is actually the line chart so you see here we have now our line chart ready so similar to that one so once we will take this graph we can go back to this edit option and edit option will give us the control to change these values and uh, again we can change this color from here let's suppose if we want to change this color and for this maybe we will take the green one so now we can change these colors as well so let me uh, yeah show you in detail yeah here we can go back and uh, click on this we can take maybe next pie chart so if you want pie chart so we can simply maybe paste it here so similar to that one you see we have now different items and their data and again we have whether you want it in the form of percentage or numbers it is totally up to you and you can change your data and next we have the area chart so you can see here we have range of area charts maybe for this example we can take this one and we can simply drag it to change and adjust its size so maybe we can make a different panel like panel a b c and d and if you want to change title of course you can change it and if you need to change color so you can go and change your colors so maybe uh, the next one we can choose uh, the scatter or dot charts so if you, we want to add this scatter or dot charts we can simply click by adding and we can change the values we can change the colors maybe for this example we can take bright red and uh, the next one maybe we can choose uh, this bar chart but it should be the running bar chart so once you will click on this one so you see here now we have a chart which is running and you can see it has the play button so once we will click on this so you see it is moving and each chart is showing year by year data so let me show you how actually it works so you see here this is the like 
data which has been used as the template so you see here we have data for like 40 years and uh, for 12 items so it will show you one by one and if you have your own data you can simply paste this and you can export it in the form of running graph or running chart as well so uh, maybe we can paste it here for the time being and uh, maybe here we have this infographic charts so you see here this is infographic chart and if we want to change the color we can simply click on this one and we can change the color as well so let me make it more shorter and then from the last category you can see here we have different charts including this funnel and uh, yeah the last one can be this radar chart so you see here we have the radar chart as well so if you want to change the color of all this so maybe you can simply go with like this one oh sorry we can go back this one select this color as well and maybe for the second one we may we can choose the speech color and for third one maybe we can choose this one oh it's not looking nice yeah maybe now it's okay so you see here now our template for figure one is ready so the last thing is we need to export it in the form of figure so we can directly go to share to export this so once we will click on this here so here you see we have the different options you can even send it to teachers or you can public view link and if you want to download it in the form of different file format so you can simply click on this download so once you will click on this you see here we have png jpg pdf standard and pdf for print and even we have for standard vector graphics and we can download it in the form of mp4 videos as well and even we can download it in the form of pptx i mean the presentation file and we can download it in the form of gi f as well so for the present example we can go with the jpg we can adjust the size we can adjust the quality i mean increasing the quality will will give you the good results in the form of resolution and if you have limitation i mean let, let's suppose if you want to publish this figure within 200 kb so you can adjust your size as well by simply the writing but for this example maybe we can untick this and we can go with the download so uh, let's see how our figures look like so you see here now it is exporting and uh, once it is done so you see here untitled design is ready so you see here our high quality figure is ready so hopefully uh, in this way you can use this canva for creating these charts for your publication purpose and if you still have any question in the use of this please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching bye bye